What's up, guys? Welcome back to Jimmy Make Music. Today we are talking about audio visualization. Audio visualization. I'm going to show you how you can get it done for free for your project. Let's get to work. Jimmy, Jimmy, make Jimmy, music, make music, make music, music, music. So in today's day and age, it's real essential that you have some type of visual for your audio, whether it be your beats, or your song, a remix, your podcast, something that you can post. Uh, to any type of social media or your website. And most of the visualizations are kind of costly, but there is a free option for you. It's called Headliner. It's so simple to use, very easy, and it's fast. Let's take a look. So open up whatever browser you have. You're going to go to headliner.app. If you don't have an account, just sign up. It's free. There are paid tiers where they start to give you more features, but in our case, we don't really need it. So this is the first page you're going to see. For most videos you're going to make for your songs, beats, podcasts, whatever you're attempting to make, you're going to go into manual audiograms. That's the technical name for it. That's the official official name, an audiogram. So let's go into manual. In our case, we just need a 10-minute view, right? Look how simple this is. Now it gives you examples here, but we don't need that. And then you just click to choose a file. You upload whatever file you want. I recently did a remix to Light Switch by Charlie Puth, so that's the one I'm going to be working on in this case. So you find the file that you want, upload it. It will process it. It's it's fast, man. It's It's one of the faster ones I've used. You want to make sure that your whole file is selected here. By default, it usually does. In our case, I'm trying to make a YouTube video, so I'm going to select this 16 by 9. But you can do it in square form and in vertical video. Here's where you can start to actually make the video. You can choose from a template they have. They do have a bunch of default ones you can use in here. I'm going to make my own. Um, you select what type of waveform you want it to look like. So they have all these different types that you can choose from. Um, some are tacky, some are cool, and you can change the color to whatever you want. And you can put the graphic wherever you want on the page and adjust sizes. In my case, I'm going to use the dots because I like the dots, and these will pulsate. All these will move to the rhythm of the music. Something you want to keep in mind wherever you put the pulsating graphic you want to make sure that it doesn't conflict with the image you're going to put in the background. So if you have words in your graphics or in your artwork, make sure that visualizer doesn't block any of the important information you're trying to portray in your image. Now that I have the motion graphic in here that I want, hit escape. You can add text, different fonts. I don't really need that. Change your background color. It's all very simple. It's not overly complicated. Here's where it can get fun. You can either upload an image that you have or go to Canva. If you don't know what Canva is, go to canva.com, sign up for it. I'm not an affiliate or anything, but it's just a good graphic design app and website to get artwork done. In my case, I have the artwork already done. So I'm just going to upload. And then this is what the whole visualizer will look like. You can even blur the background a little bit. And then you just hit create. Now they give you two different options to export it as it is. Let them do their thing. Hi, sweetie. They have two different options. You can either just export it knowing that it's going to be okay. Or you can open an advanced editor where you can kind of play with... What? You want to come up here? You can open an advanced editor. And you can play with... The different imagery of it so you can change the artwork in and out you can play with the visualization or the pulsating waves or the equalizer that whatever you picked you can change that in and out uh, before you export it so that's kind of what this looks like so now here if i didn't want to just simply export it like that other option was giving me i can go in and change all these parameters so i can change the media I can change the music file that's in there. It'll reprocess it. But this is what it essentially looks like.
So everything looks okay to me. I'm just gonna export it. Double check everything is correct. Here's another important piece of information. You get 10 watermark free videos per month unless you upgrade. I think that's a decent amount for what you're getting. Now keep in mind, I could have just simply been done by exporting it in that previous option. I would have had the video processed and done already. But if you want to see what the different waveforms that are going into the video, what is that? What is this? Wave, that, that's my equalizer. But if you want to take a look and see what the different options look like in your video, go into this little editor and you can play with it a little bit more. And just like that, it's done processing. You just click here. Then you can share it directly from here or you can just download it. Here's a preview of what it will look like. I'm happy with that. Download it and now I have it here. Good to go. Super simple guys, it's the easiest one I've ever used and it's backed up. So you have an account. If you go to your projects, it's saved in here. I've never had an issue. If you're looking to take it to another level, there's another site you might want to check out. Uh, Tuneform.com has all types of visualizations for your audio. They have the actual music visualizers. They'll have just static ones. All these just stay still, hence static. Um, and then you can enter your artist information or podcast information uh, in these text boxes. These have more of like a Spotify look. Or if you listen to music on TV, like Spotify for Apple TV or Tidal, these are the type of uh, visualizers they use. They even have uh, Canvas, which are small visualizers for Spotify. Tuneform does have a free tier where they watermark your stuff, um, but it's actually kind of a nice watermark. It's not that bad. And they have some Premiere plans, as you can, you can see here. But definitely check them out. And that wraps it up, guys. Super easy, fast, quick, essential. You need it, you need it in your life. Headliner.app is where you need to go. Again, I'm not an affiliate, but just go check it out. I've been using it for a while. It's, it's never done me wrong. If this video helped you out at all, consider subscribing, drop a like, and comment down below. Maybe there's some visualizers that I don't know about you can school me to. Until the next one, guys, peace. Jimmy, Jimmy, make music, make music, make music, music, music.